can you guess where I'm at? Down here, make a pass. Yesterday when it was raining, I, I went ahead and put the carburetor on. Woke up this morning, sun was shining. I called, they're already on the track. So for the last hour, I've been turning 3000 RPMs. If you notice, I didn't trailer it. I didn't take the time to hook up the trailer and load it and strap it down. I just hopped in the truck, came straight here. I want at least one pass with the 750 double pumper before it's shut up for the year. The only bad thing is, is my wife isn't here, so I'll have to figure out the camera work myself. I don't know how to drive and stand out there along the, the guardrails and get some footage, but main thing is, is, the most important thing is, is we'll get to see an ET slip. That's what I think what we all really want to see. Can't sit here and just waste away while I'm waiting. Why does everything got to be so controversy? Why can't it just things fall into place? Let me show you what I'm talking about. I never had this happen before. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. A409, that's me. Here's what's important. Let me see if I can get you to see this. My 60 foot time dropped from a 2.1 to a 186 just by doing nothing else but going to the double pumper. Look at that 330 foot time. Guys, that should equal right around 830 in, a, in the eighth mile, but nothing. The other guy, he got his, I didn't get mine. So they're gonna give me a, a free run because it's supposed to be eliminations Lex. They're gonna give me a free run because I didn't get a slip. They're gonna give that to me on the backside of top eliminator, so. So the good news is, Man, I, I took almost three tenths right from the two and a half tenths right from the 60 foot time. Just by going from the 670 to the 750 double pumper. Um, I really dropped the 330. Uh, guys, I think I'm in today for, uh, you know, around 830s is what I expected now after looking at that ET slip. When I came down here, I'd have been happy with eight, 855. Would have been a nice run. But after seeing that ET slip, I think I'm going to do better than that. I just gotta get the ET slip. <laughs> I, I got a guy down here that I've known for a long time and uh, he's running an AMC Matador. Think of that. Anyways, he's running 1340s in the quarter mile. His eighth mile time is 850s and uh, 851 was his last pass. His 330 foot time was uh, 540 something and mine was 533 so I'm gonna be quicker than that, I'm hoping. So my makeup run's gonna be behind the, the pro mod line here, so eh, we'll see what we do. Well, I'm up next. Hopefully I get a, a time slip this time. We'll see what happens. Sorry, I gotta put the camera down. Guys, I'm just thrilled with the bomb sickle today. I just ticked off a 827 at 82 and a half mile an hour. The 750 double pumper dropped me from an 887 down to an 827. Six tenths off in just the eighth mile. 60 foot time dropped from a 21 down to a 186. Let me show you the let me show you the time slip. This is my makeup pass where they let me run it by myself. And I couldn't be happier. 820s, that's that's like a 1290 in the quarter or a 13 flat. We'll just call it a 13 flat. We'll be a little bit pessimistic. But that's right there. 820s is usually 12 nines or 13 flat. And just in case anybody's wondering about the weight of the truck, it weighs about 3,800 pounds with me in it at the start. I'll try to give you guys just a, a real quick uh, how the double pumper responds. Quite a bit more violent on the 
the stop versus the the vacuum secondary. The old traction devices hanging in there. One eight. A lot of people were wondering about what we could learn from that, and this is what we've learned. I don't have that big of a tire on here. It's a 28 inch tall tire and probably an eight and a half inch print. But here it is. Eh, old farm truck sitting in a field. Oh, we need to give credits to where credits do. That old 727 underneath there that we got for free. We didn't even so much as clean the grease off or put a new filter in it. It's doing its job. It's holding in there too. So in a quarter mile, guys, you're looking at a 1290 13 flat truck. I don't know. We'll have to run the numbers and see. So with the end of the season here, we're really excited about how this whole drag truck thing went for us this year. Uh, we did a lot of, a lot of uh, changes on it. Um, the bomb sickle turned out to be uh, uh, a real pleasant surprise. Um, if you're new to the channel, you, there's a whole playlist on the, the bomb sickle, the bomb cycle. Um, actually, it ran really well for us. Uh, a pleasant surprise, 827 at uh, 82 and a half mile an hour. So the 750 double pumper picked it up over the 670. We gained about four and a half mile per hour and dropped about six tenths on the dot. So that's a win-win. Until next time, we thank you for joining us again. Be safe. Yeah, beautiful, huh? We got some stickers down here. A little rusty. Oh, look at that. Hey, look at this. Hey, that's, that's rare. Very Ooh. few come out with that. Oh yeah, that's a high dollar item. <laughs> that's a high dollar item there. Factory acorns. All right, we gotta take them out without letting any of them get down inside the. <laughs> See if we can get this out of here without any going down the carburetor. There we go. Take that over there and dump that over the edge. Ah. Well, we got we're stuck here. Hold on, we got we got one over here. We got two of them right here. Two of them. Yeah. No, now you only got, got one. There one. you go. Now that one's all right. Here you go. You oh, should be. You should be clear. Up. All right. Yeah. Dump them out. Got rid of the factory walnuts. Well, I guess you could say that's step one for weight reduction, right there. There we go. Yeah, weight reduction. Got rid of the acorn. <laughs>